to church. Beautiful sunny day. Cool out. Pretty cool. Um, some of the windows were left open last night. Apparently the furnace ran a lot last night, which doesn't make me happy camper. But um, it'll cost us a few bucks, I guess. But it is sunny. It is beautiful. I'm exhausted. I don't feel like I got enough sleep. Pete said he doesn't either. Um, I was... I did not want to get up this morning. Last night about 11 o'clock I finished practicing and I thought well I could go to bed or I could watch a few vlogs and um, I chose to watch a few vlogs and it was after one before I decided I had enough. But I think I'm all caught up through um, Friday and part of Saturday for, most, for the most part. At least for the ones that YouTube puts up on my subscription feed. I know they don't put everybody up, and I don't know why that I'm subscribed to. I don't know why. Because then I have to go back through the... Instead of just looking at the list, I have to go back... There's deer running across. Instead of just going down the subscription feed, I have to go back through um, all my list and see who they missed. I don't know why it does that. Why don't they just put everybody on the feet? Because that's why I have them on the list. <laughs> it is a gorgeous morning. I'll show you our gorgeous morning here. Very pretty. As you can see, the car still thunks. <laughs> that's just the way it is. And um, so it's very pretty. All those yellow flowers. And Pussy willows. And I'll probably record the service because I like to watch it too. And usually on Sundays I like to put less than five minutes of music and less than one minute just to prove I was in church. <laughs> and then there was a uh, there's a potluck today. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hinging on what has already been said about the false teachers and people being deceived, Peter encourages the church by reminding us that. In keeping with his promise, we are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth, the home of righteousness. Not all is hopeless, is it? No matter how rotten this world is, it's not hopeless. It never has been. Evil will not win. Evil will be stopped. In spite of all the false teaching and persecution and hardship going on in the world, we are not without hope. And that's some pretty good news. We have the same hope we've always had. Nothing and no one can take that hope away from us. And in this new heaven, and this new earth, there will be nothing impure. That's something to look forward to, isn't mm -hmm. it? No sickness, no death, no crying, no pain. So Peter asks, what kind of a person ought you be? You ought to live a holy godly life. Hi guys, it's about 8.30 Sunday night and I'm ready to wrap it up. Um, stayed up too late last night watching vlogs. Had a great day today. Um, didn't get to record anything at the potluck. It just wasn't a day to do that, I guess. Um, I was half asleep through the whole thing. I just couldn't seem to get myself awake. So we came home Took a nap for about three and a half hours, got up, I took care of the birds and cleaned the bird room. Pete made us some popcorn. We watched an episode of Cedar Cove. And um, I just caught up on what's been going on in my Nissan group. When I say Nissan, we're not talking the car, we're talking the fundiplication. <laughs> but um, I was, um, you know, I can check up in on it on my phone, and I did yesterday. But I can't really do too much stuff on my phone, so uh, not without difficulty. So I just checked in on it tonight and caught up with it and looked at a few uh, Facebook posts, but I'm not really, not really into Facebook tonight. So I'm going to just finish this up and then go to bed because tomorrow's supposed to be a warm, sunny day down in the Lansing area and a Monday. There was a ton of schedule changes over the weekend, so things have not slowed down yet. It's supposed to rain on Wednesday, though, so thunderstorms Wednesday, so maybe we'll get a little bit of a break in the call volumes during the week. I don't mind being busy. Last week was just way, way too crazy. <laughs>
So hoping for it get busy but not crazy this week would be good. That's what I'm putting my order in for. I've been using that Walmart app that George Gracie talked about. Um, I got, so far I saved 93 cents. I got, I put in like five or six receipts. Um, I think the one that I did get money off was from when we were in uh, Cadillac. But what it does is it compares the prices to any advertised prices for their competitors within a certain radius. So when I put it in from the Walmart here in Houghton Lake, there aren't that many competitors. And I haven't gotten anything back, you know, any price difference. Any of the receipts from Houghton Lake because there's no competitors to compare against. There's very few. There's Kmart. Walgreens and Rite Aid, and that's pretty much it. Like in a bigger city, it's, there's a lot more competitors, so there's a lot more prices to price check against, and that that's the only time I've gotten money back from it. But I'll keep putting them in. You just never know. You never know. But I'll keep using it. I like it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope everybody has a marvelous Monday. Take care. God bless. Have a great week, and good night.